What is HBase? Well, HBase is a database management system designed in 2007 by PowerSet, which is now a Microsoft company. HBase rests on top of HDFS and enables real-time analysis of data. Well, it can store a huge amount of data in a tabular format for extremely fast reads and writes. HBase is mostly used in a scenario that requires regular and consistent inserting and overwriting of data, even in an HDFS environment. Why HBase? We know that HDFS stores, processes, and manages large amounts of data efficiently. However, it performs only batch processing where the data is accessed in a sequential manner. This means one has to insert the entire data set for even the simplest of jobs. Therefore, a solution is required to access, read, or write data anytime, regardless of its sequence in the clusters of data. HBase is modeled after Google's Bigtable, which is a distributed storage system for structured data. Just as Bigtable leverages the distributed data storage provided by the Google file system, Apache HBase provides Bigtable-like capabilities on top of Hadoop and HDFS. What are some of the characteristics of HBase? HBase is a type of NoSQL database and is classified as a key value store. Some characteristics of HBase are values which are identified with a key. Both key and values are byte array of type, which means binary formats can be stored easily. Values are stored in key orders and can be quickly accessed by their keys. And it represents a database in which tables have no schema, column families and not columns are defined at the time of table creation. NoSQL is a form of unstructured storage. This means that NoSQL databases do not have a fixed table structure, like the ones found in relational databases. As you see on the left, a structured database is very heavily dependent on rows, columns, and tables. The unstructured database has a wide variety of different types of data. Why NoSQL? Well, with the explosion of social media sites such as Facebook and Twitter, the demand to manage large data has grown tremendously. NoSQL databases have resolved the challenges that were faced in storing, managing, analyzing, and archiving big data. Also, these databases have gained a lot of popularity due to high performance, high scalability, and ease of access. These databases may include key value pair databases, document databases, and column-based data stores. Types of NoSQL. There are basically four types of NoSQL databases, key value, document, column, and graph. The key value database has a big hash table of keys and values. Oracle's NoSQL, a Redis server, and Scalaris are examples of key value store databases. Document-based databases. This type stores documents made up of tagged elements. Examples include MongoDB, CouchDB, OrientDB, and RavenDB. Column-based databases. Each storage block contains data from only one column. Examples are Bigtable, Cassandra, HBase, and Hypertable. And lastly, graph-based database. This is a network database that uses nodes to represent and store data. Examples are Neo4j, InfoGrid, Infinite Graph, and FlockDB. The availability of choices in NoSQL databases has its own advantages and disadvantages. The advantage is it allows you to choose a design according to your system requirements. However, because you have to make a choice based on requirements, there is always a chance that the same database product may not be used properly. RDBLS versus NoSQL. Data storage. 
For data storage in an RDBMS, data is stored in a relational model in tabular format with numerous rows and columns. NoSQL comprises a host of different databases with different data storage models. For schemas, each record in an RDBMS follows a fixed schema. The columns are defined and locked before data entry. On the other hand, schemas in NoSQL are dynamic. You can add new columns at any time. Performance. Relational databases are not optimized for high performance in applications where massive data is stored and processed frequently. No SQL databases perform much better in scenarios with large amounts of data. And scalability. RDBMS supports vertical scaling. To handle more data, RDBMS typically requires a bigger server. However, this will increase the cost and is much more difficult to do than horizontal scaling that is supported by NoSQL. You can scale a horizontal NoSQL across multiple servers. Multiple servers are cheap commodity hardware or cloud instances that make scaling cost-effective horizontally much more efficient compared to vertical scaling. And reliability. Relational databases are highly consistent and reliant. Most NoSQL databases do not support reliability features, such as atomicity, consistency, isolation, and durability, which are natively supported by a relational database. HSpace Real Life Connect. Facebook's Messenger platform needs to store over 135 trillion messages a month. Where do they store such data? The answer is HBase. Facebook chose HBase because it needed a system that could handle two types of data patterns. One, an ever-growing data set that is rarely accessed, and an ever-growing data set that is highly volatile. You read what's in your inbox, and then you rarely look at it again. HBase architecture. HBase has two types of nodes, master, and region server. There is only one master node running at a time, whereas there can be one or more region servers. The high availability of the master node is maintained by Zookeeper, a service for distributed systems. The master node manages cluster operations such as assignment, load balancing, and splitting. It is not a part of the read or write path of data. The region server it has one or more region servers running at a time. Host tables performs reads and writes of data. Clients communicate with the region server in order to read and write their data. A region in HBase is a subset of a table's rows. The master node detects the status of region servers and assigns regions to it. HBase components. The image represents the HBase components, which include HBase master and, at the bottom, multiple region servers. The HBase master is responsible for the management of the schema, which is stored in HDFS. Region servers act like availability servers that enable the maintenance of a part of the complete data stored in HDFS based on the requirements of the user. The region servers perform this task by using the H file and the write ahead log or WAL service. The region servers always stay in sync with the HBase master. It is the Zookeeper that makes the region servers perform a stable sync with the HBase master. Storage model of HBase. The two major components of the storage model are partitioning and persistence and data availability. Partitioning is one part of the storage model, where a table is horizontally partitioned into regions. Each region is composed of a sequential range of keys and then managed by a region server. A region server may hold multiple regions. Persistence and data availability are also important components of the storage model. 
HBase stores its data in HDFS, does not replicate region servers, and relies on HDFS replication for data availability. The region data is first cached in memory. Updates and reads are then served from the in-memory cache, which is called the MemStore. Periodically, the in-memory cache, or MemStore, is flushed back to HDFS. The WAL stored in HDFS is used for the durability of the updates. Row distribution of data between region servers. The image describes the distribution of rows in a structured database using HBase. It shows how the data is sliced and then maintained in individual region servers, depending on the requirement of the user. This type of distribution ensures availability of data for a specific user. As you can see, with the data A1 through Z55, some data is split based on the index value. For example, null to A3 is in the first region server. A3 to F34 is then stored in the second region server, and so on. Data storage in HBase. Data is stored in files called H files or store files that are usually saved in HDFS. An H file is a key value map generated due to the MapReduce operations that are performed by Hadoop. When data is added, it is written to the WAL and stored in memory. This in-memory data store is called the MemStore. H files are immutable, since HDFS does not support updates to an existing file. To control the number of H files and keep the cluster well balanced, HBase periodically performs data compactions across the HDFS cluster. The data model. The features of the data model in HBase are as follows. In HBase, all tables are sorted by row keys. At the time of table creation, you need to define its column families only. Each family may consist of any number of columns and each column consists of any number of versions. Columns exist only when inserted. However, nulls are free. Columns within a family are sorted and stored together. Everything except table names is stored as a byte array. A row key, a column family with columns, and a timestamp with version will identify a specific row value. The example shows two column families, see column family one and column family two. As you can see, there's no restriction to adding additional columns to column family one. When you get to column family two, you will have the same ability to continuously expand as many columns as you like. Data mode features. The data model has many other features. First identifier of the data model is a row key. Column families are associated with column qualifiers. Each row has a timestamp and an associated value. In the example, you can see that each qualifier supports both a timestamp and a value. This allows versioning of your data within the database. When should I use HBase? HBase is used when you have enough data in millions or even billions of rows. It can be used when you have sufficient commodity hardware with at least five nodes. And developers can use HBase for random selects and range scans by key. They can also utilize HBase when you have a variable schema. HBase versus RDBMS. HBase provides advantages in comparison to the relational database management system. HBase allows automatic partitioning as compared to manually partitioned RDBMSs. HBase can scale linearly and automatically with new nodes. However, RDBMS primarily scales vertically by adding more hardware resources. Furthermore, as part of the Hadoop ecosystem, HBase uses commodity hardware, while RDBMS relies on expensive servers. 
HSpace has mechanisms for fault tolerance that RDBMS may or may not have. HSpace leverages batch processing with MapReduce distributed processing. Whereas an RDBMS relies on multiple threads or processes rather than MapReduce distributed processing. Connecting to HBase. You can connect to HBase using any of the following media the Java Application Programming Interface or API, which can be used to conduct usual operations such as get, scan, put, and delete. You can also use Thrift or REST services which can be used by non-Java clients. JRuby, a built-in convenience shell for performing a majority of operations, including admin functions, from the command line of Hive, Pig, HCatalog, or Hue. HBase shell commands. Some of the commands that can be used from the HBase shell include creation of tables using the create command. In this case, we see a create table where we're passing the table name from a dictionary of specifications per column family and a dictionary of table configurations, which is optional. You can use the describe command to get information about the named table. And you can start the disabling of a named table by typing in disable and the table name. You can also drop the named table Note that the table must first be disabled prior to doing a drop. And you can list all tables in HBase. You can use the optional regular expression parameter to filter the output of the list command. Additional commands include things like count for counting the number of rows in a table, or delete for deleting a cell value, or get for getting the contents of a row or cell, and put for putting a cell value, and scan for scanning a table's values. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.